The Nullah's troop dropped by today. The feeders are here too, delivering them their lunch boxes. If only one could slow down time. Family, a support network you can always rely on. Tony was a victim of an illegal animal trap. I only started paying attention to her after her unfortunate incident. Tony's little sister. In my opinion, Primrose is the prettiest blonde girl here. What? I've nursed you for donkey's years, and I can't even take one tiny peanut from you. How ungrateful. No wonder she fled. That's Darren, one of the alpha males of the troop. Tobias is a reserved baby definitely less active than those in Skullhead's troop.
It's like mum is trying to bolster his confidence. Tobias is snuggling up to mum again. Look at that little red nose. It's just amusing to observe how everyone differs in temperament. Tobias looks very much like his sister Tony. Among Venus's children, undoubtedly, Primrose stands out from the rest. It's just another peaceful day, everyone's minding their own business. Still a bit wobbly, but he's getting there.
Jill has been extra vigilant since the arrival of this little bundle of joy. You can only catch a fleeting glimpse of her and her baby. And look who decided to show up. The feeders usually see him in the lower section of Golden Hill Road. These are the boys from Dopis Boy Band, who had secured their place living on the outskirts of Skull Head's troop. A few familiar faces. Did that buy him some time? Now core members of the troop are on the scene. I still find Corey adorable even though he's a fully fledged juvenile now. Audrey's boy Griffy, I wonder if he misses me. Morgan has an interesting childhood. That's Sydney, Morgan's adoptive mother. And that's Baldy, Morgan's biological mother. Sydney was clearly pissed. One could almost say that she was consumed by jealousy when Morgan hopped onto Mum. And it seems like Baldy is trying to sweep it under the rug by giving Morgan the cold shoulder. It's like she's telling Morgan to go back to Sydney.